Hi everyone, in this video I would like to show how to run PowerShell commands on Citrix environment. So if you want to run some PowerShell commands on uh, Citrix controller, you need to open Citrix Studio first. So once you open Citrix Studio, on the top left hand side click on Citrix Studio and you would find common tasks, actions and PowerShell. Click on PowerShell and once you click PowerShell, you see launch PowerShell here. Just click on launch PowerShell. Okay, now you see this on the screen. So in order to activate Citrix commands or Citrix environment, you need to type ASNP space Citrix star and hit enter. Okay, I'm going to do that again. It's ASNP space Citrix star and hit enter. Okay, this will activate Citrix commandlets. So I'm going to run some uh, random commands to show how does it work and what are the things we can actually find out using uh, PowerShell. Okay, uh, first I'm going to type get hyphen if you want to check the uh, broker status on the controller machine. So you can type get hyphen broker service. Okay, you see get hyphen broker service status. I'm going to hit enter. Okay, the output is okay. So it means that the broker service is up and running on the controller machine. So first of all, we need to uh, know why we are running PowerShell commands. Basically, you know, we already have a graphical user interface or management console like Studio Director where we can find out some details. But uh, PowerShell, what it does is it can pull out a lot of information easily. You know, you need not navigate to all the options like you do in Citrix Director and Studio. Using PowerShell by simply running a couple of commands, you can see the configuration of the entire environment. So you would uh, get a complete picture in less span of time. It is going to save a lot of time and also you can troubleshoot very effectively. So this is really important uh, while working in Citrix environments to find out uh, what is actually happening if there is some issue you can find out where, where which service is stopped which service is started what is the status of the virtual machines what is the status of the machine catalog what are, what is the status of the delivery group and you can see everything here okay I'm going to run a few more commands I'm going to type get hyphen mm, I'm going to type config okay get hyphen config service status i'm going to hit enter so config service citrix uh, configuration service is one of the important services so let's check whether the service is up or not i'm going to hit enter okay the service is good now let me type get hyphen broker desktop i want to check the status of the desktop okay i'm going to hit enter okay it pulls a it shows a lot of information now so the agent version is 7.15 the name of the catalog is finance team server os machine group and uh, the controller uh, the controller name is controller.narish.com and this is the dns name and this is the delivery type desktops and applications and this is the name of the delivery group or desktop group finance windows os and this is the name of the hosting uh, hosted machine name which is VDI03 and the name of the hosting server name is Zen server hyphen CFFZXTQI and the connection name is new connection this is the IP address and uh, this is the uh, last connection user who connected to this particular machine and this is the last connection time so you will find all the details here okay so the machine is running on Windows Server 2012 and uh, the registration status is registered all these things okay and the applications that were published are command prompt ms paint and notepad applications okay so you can find all the details like in a few minutes okay let's run a different command now let's type get hyphen uh, e okay i'm going to type get hyphen environment test service hit enter let's see what it will show okay it shows a couple of details it shows a dns name database username and last activity time the machine name is controller this is the os version and this is the sid and the service version is 7.15 okay let's type another command
okay uh, this is interesting get hyphen host let me hit enter let's see what it shows okay uh, okay it shows a couple of details uh, console host versions 3.0 instance ID UI en hyphen us Microsoft PowerShell okay some details let me type another one Okay, it's get hyphen HYP database connection. Let me hit enter and see how it goes. Okay, it throws some details. Server is controller, SQL Express initial, and catalog is Citrix Mumbai site. That's the name. Uh, integrated is security is equal to two. Okay, now let's check the status of a different service. Uh, okay, let's check the status of AD identity service. Let me hit tab. So you can check a lot of things here. Okay, I'm going to type get hyphen AD AC. Okay, let me type. Uh, okay, get hyphen ACCT AD account. Okay, get hyphen ACCT DB connection schema. Okay, get hyphen ACCT service. Okay, get hyphen ACCT service status. I'm going to hit enter. All right, so it uh, shows some output. The service status is okay. All right, uh, let me run some more commands and just to show like what we can done here, what we can do here. Let's type get hyphen i. Okay, what is this? Get hyphen ice because session. Let's hit enter and see what does it show. Okay, it doesn't show anything. Not a problem. Get hyphen. Let's type machine. Okay, let's see if it shows any details. Okay, let's type get hyphen hype. Okay, get hyphen hypervisor database connection. Let's hit enter and see how it goes. Okay, it's, uh, it is looking good. Let's type another command. Get hyphen HYP service. Okay, get hyphen hypervisor service status let let's hit enter and see how it goes okay the service status is okay so yeah this is how we can find a lot of details using uh, powershell so let's type uh, get hyphen broker okay let's type get hyphen broker application group hit enter it's not showing anything Okay, let's type get hyphen broker controller. I'm going to hit enter. All right. So it shows a lot of information. This is about controller. So it's 7.15. This is the controller name. And uh, the last activity time is this. And uh, the server is okay. And this is the machine name. It is running on Windows Server 2012. And this is the SID and all the other details you can find here. So yes, uh, this is how you can uh, use PowerShell to check a lot of details in the Citrix environment.
let's run let's run a different command okay I'm going to type get hyphen broker desktop group I'm going to hit enter okay so it throws a lot of information okay so automatic power on for assign true desktop desktop okay the delivery type is desktops and apps this is the name it's a finance windows OS and uh, okay it says Indian Standard Time and uh, all other details you can find here all right so basically I'm just trying to show you like what kind of commands we can run and how uh, how we can use these commands to do some troubleshooting purpose or just to check the status of the environment or check the uh, machines or other details so yes I think I hope uh, you got some idea now uh, so yeah thank you for watching if you have any questions please leave a comment